In this video, I want to talk about, this is a, the next in the series of the wonderful wizards of access. In this case, we're going to make mailing labels really easy with the label wizard. Now, to use the label wizard, you want to have a table that has names and addresses in there. Like here, I have the customer's table. And you can see its names and addresses. So you want to have that kind of table to make your labels from. Now, you want to pick that table first. And notice how I clicked on the customer's table. Then I'm going to pick on the create menu. And then here's the label wizard right there. But you want to make sure you pick a table first. And that's the table it's going to use for the labels. Uh, I'm going to pick on labels here. Now, first, you pick your label size. Now, you see where it says filter by manufacturer? Well, I'm going to use Avery. I mean, I, 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 I don't know about you, but I've never really seen too many of these other people's labels. So I'm going to use Avery. That's the standard one. And then we'll use English. Now, the, the label type is sheet feed if you have a desk jet or a uh, laser printer. If you have one of those printers with the holes in the side, we will actually use continuous. And I, sometimes I still see those, but most of us will probably use uh, sheet feed. Most of us will probably use English unless you're in a different country. And then what's listed up here is the Avery products by their product number. You can get most of these at a good office supply store. Um, now I'm going to scroll down to a really popular size, which is called 5160. 5160 is their standard address labels, and they're very, um, you can get those anywhere. Uh, I'm going to pick on next. Now here you could change the font size and the color and things like that, or we can do that later on. I'm going to do it later when I have a chance to see the labels. I'll pick on next. Now here you want to build a prototype label. You're going to use your fields to build your prototype label. You can use any fields you wanted to. So maybe on the first line I'm going to double click on uh, company name. Now I'm going to click on the second line of the label and then I'll use the address. I'll click on the third line of the label and pick on city. Now between the city and state I need a comma and maybe a space. I'm just going to type that in. I'll type in comma, space. Then the, uh, my state is called region because some of them are international, so I'll use the region. I would like to have another space or two, so I'll just type that in. And then we'll use the postal code. So you're going to use your fields from your table to build your prototype label. And also, you can type in anything you want to there as well. I'll pick on next. Now, this is asking you how you would like to sort the labels. So maybe we can sort it by company name. Or actually, here in the United States, if you sort your mail by postal code, if you have enough, when you bring it to the post office, they can give you the bulk mail rate if it's sorted by postal code. So just in case, let's sort it by postal code. And we'll pick on next. And now we're done with our, um, we're done with our wizard. Go ahead and pick on finish. Now, I got to tell you, when you run the uh, label wizard and you run the label report, you're going to get this screen. And usually you're not going to lose anything. I'm going to click on OK. And notice, very quickly, it made very nice labels out of our customer's table. And that would print, uh, that would, uh, print perfectly on the 5160 label size or whichever label size that you chose. So very quickly, we were able to make labels um, in Access using the label wizard. And all we really did, Oh, by the way, I just went into Design View. And in Design View, then I can change my font, my font size, and things like that if you wanted to. But all we did was I picked on the customer's table, I picked on Create, and then we went to the labels, and that started the label wizard, as we can see. A great way to make uh, mailing labels from your access data using the label wizard.